Spencer against uh, Spentra, which is Spencer and Vetra, who the I double believe cat ears. I uh, yeah, man, <laughs> just meowing their way into winners' quarters, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, they uh, they were definitely playing really clean earlier. Um, Bayo and Ness. I mean, Ness has that sweet up air follow up off of uh, a lot of Bayonetta's throws, and then Bayonetta, obviously, a character that does not have a hard time killing at all. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see how. I think what's going to be important is how. Is, uh, is Ventra the, the Ness? Ventra's the Bayo. Okay, so it'll be really important to see how Spencer uh, does get back to stage here, because Pit and. Robin are both characters that can kind of take it to Ness when it comes to the offstage department. But. Oh my god. What? Okay. I thought that was, I thought, uh, yeah, I thought that was it already. And uh, oh, that will be it uh, already, however. So. Well, he got, I guess he got a bit greedy with that. That skill. Yeah. Yeah, and that put him in a bad spot where. You may not be able to take him all the way off, but uh, Bayo will be able to take you all the way out towards that black zone. Oh, oh really solid back here, though, coming from Wolf. Oh, all right. Uh, no, no, it is, no, no, it is Bayo, though. Weak. So, really good ledge trump back here coming out from Wolf. Um, doing a nice job, keeping the offensive on. And now we got oh my both God. members of the blue team off stage. That was so crazy. You challenged Ness up there. <laughs> That's just not something you do in Smash 4. Oh, oh no, man. and the accidental four on. Wow. Really the solid uh, up hit. smash version. I'm scared. No, 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 no. Yeah, what do you what do you what are you doing with that nest the off on the the edge of smash bro? The fourth That's scary. Yeah, four throw four, four throw, throw with its uh, high base knockback. Yeah, that does kill a zero friend, so you gotta look out. <laughs> and yep, the checkmate working even on the floaties. So Oh, wow. A lot of damage putting in, 42% already onto uh, Spencer. A good SDI down. Yeah. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is get caught in the uh, PK Fire Infinite. <laughs> oh, oh, and gets the Sour Spot, otherwise that absolutely would have been the stock. Oh, oh, should have and, uh, yeah, absolutely should have thrown to his teammates, but I think he was just more so uh, seeking out the stage position. Oh, that was... Oh, good job with the win box there. Oh, and gets the d double up smash, almost sealing off two stocks. That's really good and for the accidental team stuff, kill. Yeah, absolutely. If messes are completely up. Oh, Oop, and well, uh, they have four stocks. Yeah, well, uh, the, he was definitely not... There it is. Yeah, now we got two stocks, so just got to look out. <laughs> Ness is going to be a character that somewhat struggles in 2v1. Um, I mean, if he, he can't really go for grabs because if he does, he'll get punished from any of his throws. Well, I like these arrows. Yeah, these arrows are... That's I think that's the smart choice of doing pit rather than dark pit. Um, and when... Ooh, wow. When Ness goes to that really telegraph, like, I'm obviously going to snap to ledge, I think the best thing to do... <laughs> Jesus. Those arrows are so good. Yeah, and that'll uh, absolutely be it. So the really arrow to make it true. Coming out. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. was a checkmate for Zed, so he arrowed him and then it was a good stun. Oh, and then I guess he could go for down here after that. Well, that's a lot to ask for for the pit, to do it every time. <laughs> right, yep. Yeah, because then they're, you know, they always have ways of mixing up their DI and that sort of thing. But yeah, really clean uh, conversions are coming out from Toast Sage. Um, definitely looking like, you know, even though this is our first time team together, that they're very polished and and balanced team. Um, we'll see what uh, Spencer and Ventra can try to do to to turn the tides here. But I really like their Arcfire arrow, like, ledge trap. Since yeah. 40 characters slip out of it, then the arrow just covers that. Yeah. Oh, all right. What, what was that? Nair, probably, I assume? But I don't know. It, it uh, traded so fast, you couldn't really tell what animation it was. Oh, all right, really good tech roll in. Uh, Wolf escaping that possible you know, death set up coming from Bayonetta. Ooh, okay. all right, yeah. He knew he wasn't going to be able to send him back to his partner, but he did get the extra percent with the back there. So. L from this. Okay. He expected a throw. Yeah, he absolutely did. 
Careful with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it'll be good if you can actually get him to throw the projectile, but Scorpio's not really a player. I mean, he's aware of the uh, side magnet threat. So he's definitely going to be careful with he's how he's going to projectiles. Oh, oh, boy. That was gross. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Down throw straight up in the up air. All right. Stage, now, yeah, Scorpio is going to have to try okay. to Oh, all right. The, uh... Oh. He had no double... Oh, wait, oh, he triple jumped. Yeah, and that'll do it, absolutely, but... Um, oh, no, 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 back throw? Wait, what? He was what? <laughs> what? He should have went for back throw. He that, was, to... that was unreal. Yeah, I yeah. was like, yeah, that'll do it, but I was not expecting him to do the forward throw. Yeah. Um, definitely a huge mistake. I mean, regardless, the, uh, the Scorpio stock is now gone, so in the end it wasn't too terrible. But... Oh. It's scary. Oh, he let go. Oh, I don't think he can... I mean, there is some vulnerability when you do the uh, orbiters, but I'm not sure. I think he probably just ended up letting go. And now, red team. What is this jank ledge trap? Right? He's giving them elite stage control. Uh, good job, though, coming to that down there from the bayonetta. And forward throw, not quite going to be at a spot where Scorpio can uh, capitalize. Yeah, and back throw, absolutely on the ledge would do it. Big nest combo. Ooh. Oh, all right. Getting the 11 sword action in there. When you're not close enough to throw a follow up, just throw a sword at him, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah and that'll so do it. Oh. And that's that's why Robin is such a great character in doubles. He, with those aerial smash attacks, he is a. Uh, you know, basically any character's throw, he's just able to follow up with the and, kill bots. And, yeah, get the kill, yeah. Oh, people thinking they could punish Robin's throws, they're legless. <laughs> <laughs> we all go through that phase. Oh, Can really good tech coming out from Wolf. And now Ness is the one who finds himself off stage. Does has lost Legimit's ability, but the second hit of forward smash, not quite gonna hit. Oh, he doesn't have uh, eleven swords so. though. Awesome. Yeah, and you can't be shielding that move. I know it's it's hard to not shield, but yeah, and this Levin Sword really needs to come back. I think here we have it now. But. He has it now. All right, and you have to do the share stock. Yep, I was about to say you have to do the share stock in this scenario. Don't really have to, but it is advised, and that should be it. Yep. So now all we need is uh, a pit grab, and that should be the end of it. Oh, really should have went with the uh, fourth match there, but... Oh, God. And the harassment! Oh, God. I wonder if we get to, to use the orbiters down there to reduce the... <laughs> and, uh, and that's really had no options there. Yeah. Double jump gun. I guess he could... No, he could do the down B thing. He could do the down B but and, then get, gonna and then get fourth thrown. But uh, I guess the down B maybe would have brought him out of fourth throw kill percent, but... Oh yeah, it would have healed him. And then he it would have it would have healed him, but I think Loaf would have still been able to get the grab, and then could have just back thrown. Oh no, uh, and then he would have two v one, and they would have won. <laughs> and then, and then they would have won. So the momentum would have just kicked in right there. Team ears definitely uh, thinking over their options, deciding to take him to Dreamland. So Wispy is gonna come into play. We got pineapples coming in. Yeah, I love this choice. All the jank can happen. Oh, he should have sent. Oh, all right, and we do have a uh, bayonetta with this extended edge guard here. Not gonna kill. Return to stage. Yeah, I was about to say, not going to kill Pit, but it's definitely going to add on a lot of percent here. Actually, only 30%. Yeah, only off 30 of that whole exchange, so. Oh, he both can switch this. Oop. You should never try to shield grab that fair. Never. Bayo can do a lot of things to make that save. There's, uh, I mean, a lot of characters in this matchup are going to have that 
you really should not try to be shield grabbing. Yeah, hit probably the least of anyone, but he's still got some big fist strikes. Yeah, pit and air sucks. <laughs> People at SDI. Well, SDI isn't bad, but it's just bad. Oh, what the? Oh, all right. Good lord. And really good stuff getting uh, get back to stage with the tech there coming from Loaf. And he has lived so many situations that other characters just straight up would have died. Even though he doesn't have a hitbox, it's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. And uh, <laughs> Every there one of these Scorpio goes deleting yet again another Nest stock here. They just keep getting reverse edge guarded. Yep. Oh, and then gaining back some of that percent. And down goes Bayo, uh, is a character who will make it back to stage, however. Oh, yeah. oh. oh no, and the, uh, the spaghetti coming out from the blue team. Oh, looks like they're definitely fun. running out of answers here. But Wolf's still living to 140 <laughs> until he gets uh, forward aired by his own teammate. Oh, no raid. All right, and four throw, but no team follow up. Scorpio coming back with an aggressive down air. That's oh, true shield sign. Shake your head. Oh, he read the roll down air. Oh, what? He does nothing. <laughs> Why did he do it? What? <laughs> they just both characters just just stayed there. They do nothing, my game. Yep. Up oh boy, that was a really risky roll coming off from Lope. That, uh. Pineapple? Yeah, no. Yeah, now we're even stocks, but the, uh, a lot more percent on the blue team as of right now. Whoa, with the, uh, down smash? He's only at 0%. That was kind of safe. True, yeah. I mean, he got, he got punished for it, but only like 7%. So. Yeah. And uh, Bayo oh. could do something. Yeah, and Loaf there going for it. He's got a couple of those, like, down air spike into up smash conversions, but that time Ness was able to drift out of it. But Ness being at 163, it will probably die if uh, he gets grabbed by either character from the red team. Oh, goes for the up throw, knowing that forward throw wasn't quite going to do it from all the way across the stage. <laughs> all right. Yeah, and even Pit up air killing at that point. And the percent, though. Oh, that's your beat out afterburner kick. What? And I think they do need to switch roles here. I think if they go back to uh, like the arc fire plus arrows on the ledge, um, that's probably their best, their best bet. It looks like kind of getting the sour spot of that up smash. Yeah, Dale's going to be able to do a lot of things to avoid getting grabbed, so they're going to have to find another way for their conversion. The, uh, the Arc Thunder into the forward air will absolutely do it, though. A swift 3-0 coming out from Team Toe Sage. A uh, lot of good things we see.